Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss prep data for AI in Power BI. So the question is, what is prep data for AI? So prep data for AI in Power BI means getting your data ready so that AI tool. AI tool in Power BI is a co-pilot. In Power BI can understand and use it properly. This includes cleaning, organizing, shaping the data for better list. Now let me switch to the computer for the demo. So first I will show you the data table. So this is the just sample data. So you can see order ID, order date, country, customer, order quantity, unit price, discount column, and month, year, and sales. And now let me go back to the report. And in the data table, you can see here a uh, few majors like order, not majors, uh, total discount major, and total order quantity. And this is the another table. So ID and the name. So now here on the home tab, you will see one icon here, prep data for AI before copilot icon. So now I will click on this prep data for AI icon and we'll see what are the options are available. So now first option is simplify the data schema verified answer and AI structure. We will check each one, one by one. First, we'll check simplify the data scheme. So I will click. And once you will click, you will see all your semantic model here, okay? Including your calculated column, majors and everything. So if, if you want to exclude anything for your co-pilot, so you can exclude it from here. So I don't want this team table, so I'll exclude it. So now from here in the order data table, I don't want to discount. If somebody asks about the discount for copilot in copilot, so it will not copilot will not answer. So and we'll see the example as well. So I'll remove the discount. I will also remove total discount and I will just click apply. And now I will click close. Now I'll go to the copilot and I will ask about the discount. So I am saying, give me some of discount. So Copilot will check this column majors, if any majors is related to discount. So we have is excluded the discount, some of discount column majors also and the column also. So it will not give any result. So we'll see what it is returning. So it's saying your data set does not contain a column or major name discount. So therefore, the copilot will not answer this. So now let me clear. Um, now we'll see the verified answer. So verified answer. So verified answer, let me close this and how we can set up actually verified answer. You just click on the three dots and here you can see the setup of verified answer. Just I'll click. Once I'll click, I'll just type here sales trend. So whenever some user ask copilot sales trade it will always return this visual actually so now i'll click on add and click on apply and now i'll close it now again i will go back to the copilot and here i will just type sales So it will always return this video. So you can see here the same visual. If I add to this page, so you can see same visual. Okay. Now let me remove it from here. Now we'll see the last option. AI instructions. Okay. So AI instruction is something. Let me copy paste AI instruction.
So here in the AI instruction I'm defining my busy season is May 2024 and August 2024. And the next AI instruction is always, uh, always analyze order ID count on a quarterly basis. These two instructions I have provided. Now I'll click on apply. And I'll click on close. And here I will type busy season. So let's see what is the outcome. So it is saying that busy season in May 2024 and August 2024. And these are the order quantity actually. You can see this is the sum of order quantity if I click here. And we have we have mentioned in the AI instruction, so May and August is my busy season. Now another one is another instruction. What was the another instruction? Analyze order ID count. So I'll just clear this and I will say I'll just paste analyze the order ID count on always on quarter. So here I'm saying analyze always analyze order id count on a quarter quarterly basis so it will return a order id count on quarterly basis so you can see here the uh, year quarter year quarter so it is let me add this to ending page so you can see quarter wise order count so this is the order. So that's all for this video and I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.